Want to make some quick cash with your woodworking business? Yes. <laughs> Same. We have a method to help you buy a tool or pay off a credit card bill or take a last minute vacation with money that you earn from building what you make in your garage. Who knows, you might end up building an entire business around what you find works in this method the first time you try it. This video was originally posted in the stud stack a few weeks ago and it did really well. People really, really liked it. So we wanted to give it to you for free this week on YouTube as just a little sample of what we do in the stud stack every single week. We post four videos a week every Thursday in the stud stack and then in the afternoon we hang out live in the video chat lounge and just answer questions. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it has the power to change your business. Head to studstack.net when you're done if you want to learn more. We've worked really hard to make a Studstack membership cheaper than dog food, and we'll show you how to run a business and make money. But either way, enjoy this free video, and I hope it helps you make more money. Quick cash. All right, you want to make some extra money real fast. Figure out the most popular trend right now with the, the thing that you make and sell, and hop on it. For me, this is just for Davis, I find the newest trends by <laughs> what my brain tells me is the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> like, I'll be, I'll be at Target and I'm just like, why are people spending money on this? That is usually my little cue, little bell goes off in my head of just like, oh, this is probably a trend. You should probably pay attention right, to Right, so it. instead of saying, oh, why are people spending money on this? It should be, man, why are people spending money on this? Like, this is intriguing. So, so anyway, that's just, for me, I don't know, you can explain it, but I just wanted to give that, like, I think most of us woodworkers just sort of breathe a sigh of frustration when we see trends come along. I want you to start paying attention to that yeah. sigh and say, okay, if they're gonna blow their money on this, can they blow their money on my version of this? So. Absolutely. Um, so I kind of want to focus on where you can like find new trends. Like where can you go? And I have a couple of examples. Like I try to find people who are selling and capitalizing on the trends and who are like, almost the trend setters, like the first people to utilize the trends and put them out into the whole world. The first example that comes to mind is for furniture. When I wanna know what new furniture trends are popular, I go find interior designers. They post pictures of their work all the time. So I go scroll through and I'm seeing, what are they putting in other people's houses right now? What are other people paying tens of thousands of dollars in begging interior designers to put in their homes? Um, for example, right now it's like very sleek and modern. I see lots of like black, white, simple, not super colorful, but very like modern trends. And I just found that out by scrolling on Instagram of some interior designers. Um, some other great ways to do it, let's say you smell, Let's say, smell, sell. Let's say you sell smaller pieces um, to like the younger generation. TikTok is a fantastic way to do that. Um, you scroll through, see what like, you know, high schoolers are using, what, you know, young college age people are using. Um, what are the popular toys? I know slime, for example, is like a massive trend on TikTok right now, which originally I look at and I'm like, really, people are selling like a little bucket of slime for $20? But then you think a little further into like why it's working. They're bright colors. There's lots of little toys and charms in the slime. So don't be afraid to like go to social media and find the people that make money on capitalizing on the trends, seeing what they're doing and reworking it to see how it works for you. And you never know, one of these silly stupid trends that you hate could turn into a million dollar business. Um, we didn't think that we were gonna do charcuterie boards, but Jenny was like, no, it's a trend, we have to jump on it. So I made some charcuterie boards and what do you know, half a million dollars later, I'm still making charcuterie boards. Yeah, there are people out there who are making millions of dollars assembling these little charcuterie boards. It's all over Instagram. They have hundreds um, of thousands and millions of boards, so another, why would we stop? Another example is the epoxy river tables. I know uh, woodworkers specifically have a lot of negative emotions right now yeah. to uh, epoxy river tables because they're just, they're not the newest thing anymore. Um, people see them everywhere and they see them everywhere because it's a trend that stuck around. Uh, mm -hmm. Jeff Mack Designs is, now has a multi-million dollar furniture business because he jumped on the trend of the epoxy river tables yeah. and he got really famous on Instagram for his big epoxy pours and everybody wanted to buy his tables. Just to come full circle, like for me personally, and I think a lot of woodworkers too, I hear, I hear us collectively, makers, I hear us sort of groan <laughs> at the trends when instead of groaning, we should think, I need to put some of that in my in my booth in the next show. Yep. See how it does. And uh, if we start to have that sort of reaction to it instead of groaning about it, then um, we'll be able to make the money. And then all the other people that are sad and groaning will be left out. More for us. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that video gave you some ideas. If you enjoyed it, I know you're gonna love this big announcement. 
the highly requested in-person meetup of maker business owners. The Stud Stack Summit 2024. Y'all, we have been wanting to do this for years and the Studstack members have been waiting in anticipation. We're hosting the first ever live, in-person Studstack meetup. We're calling it the Studstack Summit. And Studstack members from all over the country are gonna be joining us. Here in Houston. From May 31st to June 2nd this year, join us for a weekend of learning and fun. From a welcome party to a shop tour to discussions and lots of fun hangouts, we cannot wait to see everybody here in Houston, Texas. We're even working on some secret swag bags to give you guys just as an added bonus for coming. There's a lot of fake in the world right now. Fake news, fake success, fake advice, fake motivation. So the theme for this year's summit is get real. We'll talk about how to make real money and have real success in our businesses and how we can turn our dreams into a reality by talking about the real obstacles that stand in our way. It's gonna be a real good time. If you've been considering joining the Stud Stack, now is the perfect time to join. This is a private event for Stud Stack members only, so you have to be a part of the group to be able to get a ticket. And because this is the first one, we've only got 50 spots, so you gotta act fast if you wanna get one of them. Again, this is a closed event, you must have a ticket to attend. All of the details you can find on our website at the link below. We cannot wait to see you guys. Jump in the Stud Stack and get your ticket.